How much money did you hand over? The total I invested was £131,000. Jeff's 34 and from Portsmouth. He was working as a skipper, teaching military personnel how to sail, when in late 2018, he joined an online book group, looking for help in making his ambitions come true. I signed up to a webinar, which I found on meetup.com, um, and they're studying the seven habits of highly effective people. I thought, well, if I can learn them, use them in my own life, I'll do well. You had to leave your number. So a week later, I had a phone call from Jay Singh. Ah, cool, 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 cool. Good evening. He was interested in, you know, the same ideas that I was interested in. Um, we read most of the book. I really enjoyed it. Saw it benefit in my life too. That's when Jay offered me the opportunity to work with him one-on-one -on -one and have some personal mentoring. What sort of things were you sharing with him? <sighs> Loads of stuff. At first, just what I was doing all day, every day. And I would share my ambitions, my desires, insecurities. If Dawn and I were having trouble, I'd share that. So they'd be on the phone for like four hours. He would check everything off with him, have a dispute about something, or he'd let me down, and I would send him a message, upset about it, and the message I got back didn't sound like Jeff because the language was different. They weren't messages from Jeff, they were messages from Jay. In June 2020, when the world had just gone into its first COVID lockdown, Jeff joined Lighthouse full time. Jeff wasn't working anyway because of COVID. And what did being full time involve? It involves being on these calls, mainly listening to other people speaking, waiting for Paul Wall to arrive. Morning, 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 morning. Morning, 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 morning. And how long would they last? In the beginning, quite short. Lighthouse has a team of live transcribers working on every call, and they mustn't miss a word of what Paul says. You're trying to get as much of Paul Wall's words as you can. As Stephen Covey said, educating a conscience. So uh, I thought I'd just share a few things. It got longer and longer as we went. So within six months, they're, they're five to six hours. Um, but you'd never know when they were going to finish. I think we went on to about six o'clock on, on, on one call, 10 hour call. He started becoming like separated from people. We did go to his family's. Um, he would find, you'd find him sitting in the car on the phone to Jay. I remember that he said, I like a challenge. I want to be challenged. <laughs> Not many people who say that and mean it. He said, we run this discipline program. It was 10,000 pounds. Um, that was going to be a year's worth of mentoring. Have you had any thoughts in relation to what you do um, and uh, investment-wise and that kind of thing? What is your... What do you mean what I do? Like you've spoken about your house, you've spoken about different things, so... Jeff started saying, well, I think I'm going to sell my house because money's, you know, property's dead. Like there's no one, no one's, you know, no one invests in property anymore. I was like, that's rubbish. The 80s and 90s and uh, are gone. Property's over. What's it doing? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. What's exactly. it doing? It's just, just in bricks and mortar and, you know, it's just, it's just rubbish. I fully agree, bro. In June 2021, two and a half years after he first started speaking to Jay Singh, Jeff sold his house. He gave £28,000 to Lighthouse. He'd already remortgaged it and given them 32,000 of that money. Do you think you would have sold your house had it not been for Jay Singh's encouragement? No chance. I had no reason to sell that house other than the reasons put in front of me and the opportunities put in front of me um, at Lighthouse. When did you first hear about Lighthouse? I had someone come to my practice to seek some help. I consider Lighthouse a very classic example of a cult. It fits all the criteria that I use. And what is that? Firstly, the cults are started and often continue to be led by a charismatic and authoritarian leader. But they're also bullies. So I kind of refer to them as charismatic bullies. What about your family? What do they say about your family? My mother and sister are narcissistic. My father's weak. The worst family at Lighthouse. 
My partner Dawn, well she's got endless flack. I won't repeat what he said. I think you've heard some well, recordings. we've got the recording, yeah. Well, I've got a great test for his And one of my enemies is some fucking chick called Dawn, I've never met. She's toxic. What are, the, what are some of the things you remember from it that he said? Oh, well... I don't know. The whole thing is just incredibly belittling. I know how this works. What a one day you say. You know, people like you murder murder women like that. You know that. So it's very common. You snap up and you maul it. I can see you mesh in the face. I just increasingly it seems like these people were un under control, under his control. He has his presence and I felt nervous around him. He used to go and play golf with Paul Wall and then um, we're tearing up and uh, Paul Wall just sort of gets out of the golf caddy, grunts at one of the seniors and shakes his foot. I look down at his foot, his shoelace has, has come undone. But it was the way the senior responded. He sort of, he dropped his golf club. He sort of moved so fast across the green, dropped on one knee and knelt there, tying up his shoelaces. I looked at him and thought, is that where I'm going? Are you telling people I was in a cult? <laughs> well, I am now, yeah. Well, this, yeah. <laughs> um, I do, I find it hard because it's, uh, it's embarrassing. The first person I told um, was, my, was my friend James who at the time, I didn't actually know James that well. I was just waiting for a pint with him. And uh, I just sort of came out with it. I said I've been part of this weird thing and it looks like, it looks like a cult. So yeah, I do find it quite hard to say, but I do say it. Am I glad I stuck with him? Yeah, 100%, because he's back to being like Jeff. We're trying to get everything back to normal the best we can. We've just got a puppy and Jeff's back to sailing. We've just got accepted on our first home together, which won't be getting sold to be given to a cult.